So now, virtual, real. Yes. What's the difference there? We humans have been acting as, living as a social species for, you know, and our ancestors included millions of years. We are built for detecting and processing and understanding social cues that we are giving one another, right? Facial expressions, vocal tone, body language. There's so mm -hmm. much information just in this room right now, right? And it, by the way, that's one of the reasons why I mentioned it's like an exercise for your brain. You're constantly processing all this information. In the absence of those social cues, like when we are messaging or interacting with someone on Twitter or X, or when you're on FaceTime, you know, you can sort of think about how each of these various media of interaction strip away certain social cues, right? When we go from in-person to video, yeah, it's like, oh, I can see them, I can hear them. It's it's realistic, but it's not because you cannot make eye contact. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. You cannot smell them. There are smells that your brain is probably detecting in the background. You cannot see their entire body. You know, you can only right. see. And so you're missing some of that information that feeds your brain. When you go to a phone call, you can't even see them anymore. Facial expressions, body language out the door. You go to a text message, you can't hear their tone of voice, just the words. And so, you know, my belief is that as we strip away this sort of texture of our interactions, we're losing a lot of the important signals that tell our brains we are interacting with the human.